Hi there, this is an intro video to a beach fishing channel. I will be sharing tips and tricks and methods I use on my beach fishing. So please subscribe, like to keep up to date with any new videos on this new channel. Tonight I'm going to do some bass fishing, um, specifically targeting bass with rigs that I've made at home. So I'm using quite heavy lines. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for some bass, the sun's just dropping down, a bit of colour to the water. I'm using traditional bait, uh, like mackerel, on a pulley rig that I've made at home. Uh, let's see how I get on. Well, that evening I only had one bass. That was the only fish I had all night, so the next morning I shot off to a different location where I had more luck. Please watch. As you can see, we've done really well after moving locations. We had plenty of wrasse, some real tiddlers, and a really good sized one. Uh, not quite the big bass I was after the night before, but um, all in all, a good session. Towards the end of the session, I had a nice black bream in size. All our fish went back except this fish. Uh, I tried putting him back, didn't want to go. So I took him home and cooked him. And there's a short video to show you what I did. The current size currently to legally take home a black bream is 23 centimeters. This black bream is actually 30 centimeters, so well in size. These are UK sizes, and it's always worth checking on the internet at .gov websites to, to check current legal sizes to take home from the beach. First thing is to descale the fish. This takes a little bit of time and I prefer to do it on the beach if I ever take one home. This is because the scales go everywhere. They fling off, they spring off. So the best thing to do is keep it in the sink. Uh, keep running the tap over it. Keep scraping back until they're all removed. As said before, I do prefer to put all my fish back. But if you do like the taste of fish, um, the bream is, one, of, in my opinion, one of the best tasting fish out there and fresh from the sea uh, you just can't make it, it's beautiful the next thing to do is gut the fish now most people don't like doing this hence why they buy them from the fishmongers or from the supermarkets already done for you I um, don't mind getting my hands dirty so I get in there and put all the guts out 
cup down the belly first, scoop out all the guts, put it into a bowl or into a tub, ready to take down the beach for next time you go to the beach. Because you can put all this back to the sea. If you're not going down there for a while, you could actually um, put it in the freezer and then take it to the beach next time you go. Um, give it back to the sea, give it to the crabs. You could even use it as bait possibly if you're fishing big for big bass or, or something like that, you know. So um, yeah, don't throw it in the bin. Don't let it go to waste. There's plenty of little crustaceans and crabs and other fish that will eat the head and the guts. Now I'm not a fishmonger, when filleting I try and get as much meat off of, of the bone as possible. So um, I do like to fillet my fish and then fry it, which I'll show at the end of this video. It doesn't take long to cook at all. Other people I know who take fish home, um, just gut and take the fins off and then put in the oven in a bit of tin foil, a bit of butter over it, absolutely beautiful. You get loads more off it that way, but it's very bony. Um, you have to spend time picking the bones out. The way I do it, most of the bones are taken out, apart from a few large ones down on, near the rib cage. So yeah, just um, keep it clean as you're doing and you know, wash, wash your fish off as you're going along, as you can see in the video. And uh, yeah, do that both sides. When done, I'll show you how to cook it. of cooking this uh, these two fillets which is enough for two people by the way um, you need a non-stick frying pan and a decent knob of butter uh, preferably organic grass-fed butter uh, that's the best I've found for taste a bit of salt a bit of black pepper that's it this fish is so nice and mild I would call it that I wouldn't recommend squeezing lemon all over it or uh, adding any tarragon or any, any of these fancy herbs etc um, well now the fillets are ready um, we're going to add to the pan put skin side down first uh, for a couple of minutes on a medium heat until golden brown then flip and cook for a further few minutes until it's white all the way through all the meat's white so um, yeah, this locks in the flavour and holds the fish together better. When serving, you know, you can add a bit of garnish to it to make it look a bit prettier, but at the end of the day, the fish on its own is absolutely lovely, as I said before. This is um, my favourite fish. It tastes lovely, it's great. Thank you to those who have watched this video all the way through. If you'd like more videos like this, please make comments in the comment section future videos I'm going to be doing basic knot making, rig making, general tips and tricks for beach fishing, shore fishing, rock fishing, float fishing, spinning, luring. So please subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.